Welcome to Magic News! Not really! Welcome back to Real World Magic where we make your life more magical. My name's Neil Trigger, I'm going to be your magical host and I appreciate that the green screen is slightly different and the reason for that is because I'm show showcasing at the moment the live element of Real World Magic but I am recording it and it's not going live. Why am I doing this? Because I'm showing you that on Saturday the 30th of May 2020 at 6pm GMT or British Summer Time uh, which is 11 a.m. Mountain Time, 12 noon Central Time and 1 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm going to be going live and we're going to be doing a Real World Magic Live. So this video is all about the infusion of the vodka that I'm going to be using in my cocktail video. So let's go back to the dungeon where I can feel a bit more at home. Yeah, I just did a transition, it's brilliant. Um, it's there are some things that are going to be changing so the sound quality is going to be different hopefully the green screen is going to be a little bit better and I'm also going to um, improve transitions and all of that cool stuff so it will be a bit slicker than this so what I'm going to be doing in this video is infusing some stuff that I got from the cauldron uh, which is a wizard pub and if you haven't already seen that there's going to be a link up I don't know whether I'm going to be cut off. Yeah, I am. So uh, it's going to be up here. Okay, so have a look up there and uh, I'll, I'll link the video up there. If you haven't seen last week's live video, which was on the 23rd of May, um, I'm going to put a link up here. So hopefully you can see that as well. And that's where I make uh, dry ice and I'm going to be doing that again. So this time round, not only am I going to be taking the infusion packs from the wizard survival kit that I bought from the cauldron, pub. Um, they're closed because of lockdown but they are now starting to sell these packs to the general public so you can have your own wizard experience at home. But I'm going to make it even more wizardly with some really cool ingredients that I've got myself. So I'm going to be having dry ice in there, there's going to be some jelly worms in there in a similar way to the last time but hopefully without the spilt vodka. Spoilers! And I'm also going to have um, colour changing cocktails and magic drinks that stir themselves because yes I did actually find the stuff that I was looking for on Saturday that I couldn't find on Saturday but ironically the stuff that I was looking for was in the same room it was just kind of hiding in a different case so anyway um, I found it and I've tested it and it all works and it's brilliant it should look really really cool on camera and I'll explain how it works on the day and we can tap it with wands and all that is is it'll be good trust me it'll be good so the other thing i wanted to mention before i get into the infusion itself is this little chap uh if i click this button okay so here we are in the ghost stories element now what i wanted to do as part of real world magic live is to talk about ghost stories and talk about the psychology behind ghosts and all of that sort of stuff so Previously, until now, we've kind of focused more on card tricks and sort of lovely, fluffy magic. But this is kind of the darker side, which is why I wanted a, a different aesthetic. Um, all the while, by the way, if you wanted to be a patron of Patreon, visit patreon.com and all of that sort of stuff. So all, all of that sort of stuff is over the top there. Um, there are some really cool benefits to being a patron, by the way. So you can get um, free magic courses, you can get free live streams, access to behind the scenes sort of stuff, if that's the sort of thing that you like. Um, and you can have a say in what I do next. I, I've communicated a lot with, um, with my patrons. And if I just go back here, Um, and these are my patrons and they oh this side <laughs> always forget that um, they are the most wonderful people and they really do help me out every single month so I really do appreciate it um, and every single month they help me out to buy things like the webcam that will enable me to be better at Real World Magic Live. So all of this money is constantly being pumped back into Real World Magic, making it better. And trust me, on Saturday, you're going to notice a few changes around here as well. Um, so without much further ado, I will get into the infusion of those cocktails right now. Right, so the first thing we need to do is to take the instructions. Very pretty. Oh, for the red ruby slippers, that's what we're going to be making. So using a sharp knife, that's this one. 
Dissect lengthways your vanilla pod, use as is or scrape the seeds out of the pod and add to your infusion for extra vanilla flavour. Okay, so that's our infusion. So let's do this. Ooh, that smells very vanilla y. Using the funnel provided, which is that one. Let's add three gram or half a jar of the raspberry powder and one half of the vanilla pod. One half of the vanilla pod. Right. And raspberry powder, half of, which is that one. Add half a litre. Your, your bottle is 500 ml. Great. Cork the top. Right, so this one can go back in there for a minute. Put that one back on. Cork the top and shake for a few seconds and leave it in a dry room temperature place, not in direct sunlight, for 48 hours. After the allotted time, use the funnel and filter provided. Great, okay. Just want to pull the top. Let's start the clock. Okay, so the next one is this one, which I don't actually know what this one's called. Let's find out, shall we? This one is called the Smoky Spiced Smoke, Smoky and Spiced Moscow Mule. How exciting. Okay, so using the funnel provided, add two grams of Lapsang tea and six cracked pe black peppercorns, the entire contents of your jar, into your infusion bottle. Right, using the funnel, okay. Now, we need a new infusion bottle because we haven't got enough. Let's have that one. Okay, let's do this. What's that one? Next! Add 500ml of vodka. Alrighty. It smells smoky actually. Do you smell that? Mm. Mm. Yeah, Cork the top and shake for a few seconds, then leave in a dry room temperature place. Do not leave in direct sunlight for 48 hours. And leave it. So we shall. The next thing is obviously got to wave a magic wand.
Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I am just going to also add, please do subscribe, click that bell button to be notified and click the like button to let YouTube know that it was a good video and more people should see it. Now by clicking that bell button, which is just that, I keep on forgetting which side, that side, um, that will tell you when I go live. So you're not going to be able to miss it because it will just notify you and just say, hey, he's live now, let's go. And then you can go on, you can talk to me, I'll shout, Shout. I won't shout. <laughs> I'll shout you out um, and say hello. And uh, and yeah, you can get a shout out. You can con contribute to the um, to the community and join lots of other people, like minded people. It's really good fun, actually. Um, one other thing, I will just drop this one in again. If you haven't already visited patreon.com forward slash real world magic, there's uh, magic courses on there. There's a whole load of cool benefits um, so you can actually see what's going on and you can interact with me on a more personal basis. Also check out realworldmagic.net. Now this is really important. If you go to realworldmagic.net you can share your ghost story so that we can talk about your ghost story live on Saturday. And people have already done that so do it. It'll be good. It will be really really good fun. I promise you. Um, that's pretty much it for now. So I'm gonna go and I'll see you on Saturday. Please don't forget. It'll be really good. Trust me. It'll be good fun. Thanks. Please subscribe to Real World Magic. While you're there, click the bell button to be notified of future uploads and have a look at all of my social stuff. Remember to donate on Patreon if you really, really liked it. And I'll see you again next week.